Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron and we are in the expansion Throne of Baal. Okay, let's move on. What else do we get here? Consider it done. Some more monks to slay. Oh hi, who you are you? Know, we should return to the Elven City one day. It was beautiful, I'll give it that. A pity it suffered like it did. Yes, but they will rebuild. Even the elves feel the impetus of time and act to better themselves. They are not slaves of destiny. Please don't disguise your meaning, Jahira. Why is your concern openly? I did not intend to speak down to you. I just want you to remember that, it is, that it's worthwhile. No, I just want you to remember what is worthwhile. Destiny seems intent to claim you, and I don't know if that is for the best. Even if people distrust you now, at least it is you that they distrust. The creature threatening us are the creatures threatening us are beyond this earth. They are abstract, strange and out of balance. Hey Virgil blow me, I know you, not your taint. I just want to protect what I have an interest in. Your life is tied to mine now. <coughs> Jahira, I'm not leaving anytime soon. Please, trust in me. I do. I just want to make sure you know it. Who are you? Stop it. Who are you? Cowherd. I've no time for to talk to you now. Don't you believe a word anyone says? Balthazar is no child of Ball. He hates them. All of them. I heard the man say it himself, I did. Well, yeah, maybe that's the proof that he is a child of Ball, because then he would try to kill all the other ones. <sighs> Hold it. Commoner. Come on. Do you have anything to say, my dear Commoner? I am no one of importance. When will Bossborn stop bringing in mercen- When will Balthasar stop bringing in mercenaries and start bringing in supplies for the town? I don't know. But why don't you, you know, take care of your own life? Why do you depend on Balthasar for food? Stop it. Oh, just come on us and the boy. Hmm? Who are you? Are you going to rob us? Do you have anything that's worth robbing? Now I remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. When was the last time that we saved? Quick save. No fucking way, do we have to load that again? I guess it so. Shall be Great. What consider it done. What happened? We talked to you. I've no time for to talk to you now. Yes, a man and his smugglers once stole a valuable idol from inside the monastery itself. At least that's what I heard. Okay, so take a note, make a mental note, you know, don't... We should return to the Elven City one day. Make a mental note, don't take things from people in here. I will do oh, my best. You have nothing better to do. Fine, fine. There's yes. another door here. A safe. For crying out loud. Who are you? Stop it. Mercenary. And a chicken. No, it's a cat.
So you thought your smugglers could sell our stolen gear and get away with it, eh, Asaman? Or should we just call you Saman? We know all about your shady reputation, Saman Avarian. Hey, wait, I killed you. Shit. He's still alive? Now, let's not do anything hasty, gentlemen. As you know, I could not have been involved, as I have only recently returned to Amkethran. Save it, you weasel. We know you run the smugglers here in Amkethran, so you're the one to blame. We've been waiting for you. Hand over our stuff, Simon, or we'll slit your <coughs> lying, cheating throat. Yeah, do that. You're welcome. Oh, well, of course I, uh... By my sea salt stinging eyes, look who's coming this way. A familiar face from my past. I see your cheating ways have finally caught up with you. Your arrival is a happy coincidence, given the situation. You can actually solve my dispute with these rather upset gentlemen. No, I can't. You a friend of this double-crossing rat? Never seen this guy before in my life. Kill him if you want to. This doesn't concern you. This is between us and Sabon. Just keep walking. But I can't solve this little dispute quite easily now. Hey, would you blow me? Please return that equipment I sold you yesterday to these fine men. You? You bought our stuff? Of course not. Seaman is lying. Don't be difficult, hey, would you blow me? We can all plainly see you are carrying equipment that does not rightfully belong to you. Yeah, those weapons look mighty familiar to me. I doubt that. And those boots look just like the ones I'm missing. You've got our stuff. Some Samans playing you guys for fools. I guess Sabuja Bloomy isn't going to cooperate. I'm afraid this can only end in violence. So you're looking for a fight? Well, you've got one. We'll teach you to steal our stuff. I didn't steal it. Sorry, Sabuja Bloomy, but I'm afraid you're on your own here. Stop it. You will fall yet. And we slay his friend too. That's not right. Okay. So now you didn't oh, get your stuff back, but deep. you're dead too. Well. But that means you don't so need stuff, so I guess it's good. Can we rest now? No, Eri, you're just tired because you casted the restoration. So what's that? An oaken ring, usable by druids. What does it do? I have no idea. Medium shield plus two, long sword plus one, medium shield plus two, uh, chain mail plus three. I'm pretty sure that. Oh, you can't use that? Not usable by a thief. Spells disabled. As I thought. It's not Elven Chain, it's just Chain. Does that do anything spectacular? Typical Golden Helm used by Balthazar's mercenaries. Alright. So, that was fun, right? That sneaky Seaman Havarian. I would really love to kill him. So I wanted to go in here before I was so rudely interrupted. Great. Done. Oh, that's the tavern apparently. Good day to you. Excuse me, I, I do not mean to be rude, but you are one of the strangers that all the locals have been talking about, aren't you? An adventurer from the north? <coughs> yes, yes, of course you are. Anyone can see that you are an extraordinary man. Please forgive me. It is very fortunate that such a powerful person such as yourself has come to this remote town. I thought M. Catherine would be remote enough so that no one would find me here, but I was wrong. I would not bother you, stranger, but I am in terrible peril. I need your aid. I beg you for a boon, my lord, or I and my daughter both shall surely perish. Uh, what kind of peril are you talking about? I cannot speak more of this here. Please come to my home on the top of the cliff, my lord. I beg you. We can, sp free we can speak freely there. 
Very well. Where is this home of yours? It is atop the east cliff, my lord. It is a simple dwelling, but safe for the moment. My name is Marlow. Please meet me there, and I shall explain everything, I swear. Okay. I wanted to talk How's to you, though. I got some cheap beer for you. Hello to you, my friend. More travelers coming to tiny little Amcathron, eh? Be you yet another soldier for hire that our good Balthazar has called for? No, I'm not. No? It is not often that we get travelers passing through Amcathron, especially in these times. Welcome to s the Sephir, then, my good man. Siki Rafitha at your service. He's not. He's apparently not getting out. Can I ask you a few questions? Certainly, certainly. I'm not so overcome with business that I cannot answer a few queries now and then. Ho ho, ask away, dear man. What can you tell me about this Balthazar? Balthazar is the leader of the monastic order within the fortress and has been for quite some time. He's not overly popular, as I'm sure you are well aware. Well aware. Perhaps, tell me more. The monks have always been supportive of M. Catherine, providing guidance when it was necessary and even protection from the creatures that sometimes come out of the Kalim Desert. We have always, we've always been grateful for their presence. They and the smugglers who bring us supplies to live. Since Balthasar assumed the leadership of the Order, however, things nothing has been the same. The Order ignores us. They apply restrictions on the smugglers and have even killed some, restricting the supplies the village the supplies the village can be brought. And then there are all the mercenaries. It, it is to be expected, I suppose. Many say that Balthasar is one of the terrible spawn of the dead god Baal. He prepares for war, no doubt, and we simply pray that this war does not come to Amcathren. Balthasar is Baal spawn? So it is said. He was brought here long ago by the mage Melissa who protects him. We fear that the old tales of destruction brought by the children of Baal may come true after all. Hmm. Do you know anything about a woman named Melissan? Melissan is a protector of all of Baal's children, it is said, just as Elminster protects those who harp. Why such a mage would protect God's spawn, who only bring terror and destruction, I do not know, No does anyone. I know little else of her ever, my friend. No one has told me of seeing Melissa and the mage for many months now. Tell me about the order of monks in the fortress. There is little to say. The order built their fortress in this remote place long ago. It is said they are an ancient order of warriors that once fought for an ancient Shah and were exiled when he was murdered. The village grew up around the fortress, depending on their goodwill and guidance which was received in abundance, at least that is until Balthazar became their leader. Now we are strangers. <laughs> How does one get inside this fortress? I do not know. Balthazar sees no one and has not for months. The gates are well guarded and even protected by spells placed by Balthazar's higher sorceress. To force entry would be foolish. I bet the front gate isn't the only way in here which will blow me. Even Candlekeep had some hit back to us. Perhaps the smugglers know of a way in it, it's hard to say. Word carries of boasts by a few of them that they have stolen into the fortress secretly or for acts of thievery. This may be nothing more than idle tales, however. Well, what are all these mercenaries about for? If I could tell you that, Kash. Zadie, then I would know far more of the goings on of this world than I would like. I hear stories occasionally from the mercenaries when they come here and they frighten me. I have heard tales of great wars and destructions in the land beyond the desert, and while the Order has never involved itself in such things before, it seems Balthazar has changed things. He plans a war, a great and terrible war, and I do not know against whom. Uh, what can you tell me about that fellow Marlow? Only a little. He is a stranger to Amcathran, arrived only weeks ago. I do not believe he intended to remain. Indeed, I suspect he has been traveling for some time, but his daughter fell ill so high here. He has been a little crazed as well. He blames his daughter's illness upon the undead creatures the that are said to have arisen so far, in our graveyard cavern. Upheld. Poor soul. He drinks much, but it seems to do him little good. Uh, okay, what do you have?
You really sell non-magical stuff. That's weird. What does that do? Plus one to wisdom and equipped. Who needs that? I mean, Eric could probably use that. What do you have? Uh, no, you need hit points more. What else do we have? A mercenary... A mage. Good day to you. I have heard that there are numerous prisoners being kept in the fortress, ball spawn even. They say that Balthazar is hunting his own kin and imprisoning them. Interesting, no? I don't know. Who's that? Layla. Layla. You I got have me on my knees, you like Layla. Keep your hands and smart remarks to yourself. Deciphers for washing the desert out of your throat and taking the weariness out of tired bones, that's all. Uh, can I place an order? Apparently not. Sleeping dwarf, sleeping woman. Okay, that's a really small establishment you got here. Okay, smuggler's cave. Let's go to the smuggler's cave. It shall be. Please, please spare me. I beg you. What's going on here? Saving wench! Begging won't save you now! We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us! Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? People are starving. Food is scarce. Hassana needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. Okay. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. What? Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Hush, father. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. No, this is not right. Asan has done nothing wrong. You there, stranger. You are surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? Um, I will do whatever I can to help, Mayor. Thank you. I fear those mercenaries will execute Asan right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Please hurry! Okay, stop it. Form up. Do I know you? This does not concern you, stranger. Move along. I will not permit you to murder this girl. This woman is a thief and she will pay she shall pay for her crimes, but you don't kill a thief. True, but don't you think execution is a little bit harsh? We are guests in this town, and the daughter of the mayor dares to take our gold. This is an insult which must be repaid in blood. Now stand aside and let justice prevail, or face the consequences. No, I will not stand aside. Good, I was worried our fighting skills were getting a mite rusty. <laughs> Fuck it. Slay them. <laughs> That's not right! Huh. What is my task? Go for the eyes, Moose! Go for the eyes! Yeah! Well... Those mercenaries are kinda weak. Thank you, my lord. I cannot truly repay you for saving my life, though my father might have some small reward for you. Please excuse me now. This has been most upsetting. Yeah. Consider it done. My daughter owes you her life. I wish I had more to give, but I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of them, Catherine, how you saved my beloved Asana. 
5,000 quest experience. Now I experience. remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. I'm so happy you brought me with okay. you. Okay. I never imagined that we would and be we doing probably such got things. an increase in party reputation. Not does it that it does us I any good at that point anymore. Of course, we already I have. This is not a sign of things to come. We must maximum to reputation. Balance. What's that here? Montolio's cloak. I think we have the class for that already. The enchanted cloak of the man who trained the famous ranger Dritz the Urban undoubtedly possesses powerful abilities. However, since this cloak is missing the enchanted class which keeps it in place, it's virtu virtually useless. Awesome! And um, minor magical stuff. Alright. On my honor. There was a cave where I wanted to go to the smuggler's cave here. Let's get in here. I approve heartily of the path that is These mercenaries have filed a complaint that you are selling stolen goods, Curus. This operation is closed, and all merchandise is forfeit to the monastery. This is ridiculous. The monastery's never objected to our actions in the past. Tell us where Isaman is, Karis, and we will let you go. Isaman isn't here. I haven't seen him in weeks. Then I will arrest you instead. For your sake, I hope Isaman shows up before we find it necessary to interrogate you. I don't like those monks. No, you can't do this. This is an outrage. When did the monastery become a puppet slave to the whims of a bunch of foreign mercenaries? Silence, Karis. Wait, what is this? It seems we have a would-be customer in our midst. The infamous child of Baal, if the descriptions of Balthazar are at all accurate. Look, Boo, everyone knows Heywood to blow me now. See how his fame spreads like a scented cloud from your fury, furry backside when you have had one too many crackers. The fact that these men know you by mere sight worries me, Heywood to blow me. Tread with care, our every move is being closely watched. I could arrest you for being an accessory ball spawn, however, I'm in a generous mood. I suggest you leave now and don't interfere with our business here. Every time I see you monks, you're intimidating and bullying people. Stand aside. I will not allow Balthazar's work to be interrupted by the likes of you. I won't stand by and let you continue as Balthazar's reign of terror unchallenged. To arms, my brothers! We are attacked! Exactly. That is what you are. A few monks. It's just three of them. Hey! Hey, sneaking up on me! This is not funny. It shall be. No, you should not leave. By all that is decent. Tom, take you. What do you require? He's dead already. My <laughs> Tom, I must strike strength. you down. He can't do much, monks. Somebody leveled, Harry. Oh well, looks like we uh, won. Ah, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers place. everywhere, I'm rejoice! I'm sure if his salmon were here himself, he would offer his thanks as well. Looks like your leader has hung you out to dry, Karras. <clears throat> yes, well, be that as it may, I still think some type of reward is in order for helping you in this matter. I think so too. Um, with our erstwhile leader gone, the best I can do is offer you a discount on goods. The scope of my authority is somewhat limited in his absence, you understand? You mean every time I come back here, I get a discount? Of course, you must realize that we cannot stay here in Amkathran now that we have been involved in the death of several of Balthazar's envoys. I suggest you use your discount now. If you return tomorrow, our little store will be long gone. We cannot stay and suffer the wrath of Balthazar's vengeance. 
Very well, let's see your services then. Peruse our wares, but do not tarry. Time is mine and we can afford to waste neither now. Okay, so, well, uh, first of all, we should sell things, right? Nah, that, that's not worth anything actually. One gold piece or four, it doesn't matter. Sell the stuff that really brings money. We have 14 of those. We 108,000. Awesome. That's cool. We need money. Oh, there's only one, okay. Armor of the Heart. I will not sell that. That might be upgradable, I don't know. Shield of the Order. I will not sell that. Damn, I can't sell those, and I can't sell those, and I can drop them. Okay, so we sell that, and all of a sudden we have money. Okay, what do you have? Okay, we could buy a few of those. Hmm. Nothing too fancy. What's that? The origins of this throwing eggs are unknown only to are known only to denizens of the Underdark. What is known is that clans of Durga have gone to war simply to possess this artifact. Clogarth plus four. Axe returns to the wielder's hand instantly after an attack is made. Targeters must save versus death or be knocked down and take two D six extra damage with each successful hit. Hmm, not bad. A throwing axe, a magical one. Let's buy that. Um, what's that? Glasses of identification. Wearing these glasses allows the user to see magical items as they truly are. The proper instructions to activate the Object appear like floating words for the wearer of these glasses. The glasses may be used three times per day. The glasses act much like a scroll of identify, and that to identify an item, you right click on that item. A menu will appear, and from there, you can choose the scroll option. The item will now be identified. That's awesome. Three times a day? We don't need it more often than that. Uh, rod of reversal. A powerful item allows a warrior to quickly remove the magical defenses of an enemy mage, uh, particularly prized by wizard slayers. Costs Ruby Ray of Reversal. 
one charge. I only use this one time and then it's gone. Skip it. What's that? Enkidu is full plate. This armor was created for Enkidu, a famed warrior from Paratur. While none dare challenge him in fair combat, Enkidu was often subject to cowardly sneak attacks from assassins, ninjas, and Wunjen. Immune to backstab while equipped. Oh, armor class minus 2, plus 5% magic resistance. Immune to backstab? That's a good thing. Buy that. And the gargoyle boots. Immune to backstab. Mm, nice. Maybe they uh, can be upgraded, but uh, then again, I need the boots of speed actually. Um. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Here's the stuff we just sold. So we buy all that. Um, what do we have here? I guess I will buy a few more of this, a few more star sapphires. Don't really know whether we might need them. Okay. We can sell those. I only collect rogue stones, kings, tears, and star sapphires. And of course, magical stuff that might be useful every now and then. Okay, you bought it. That's cool. Um, I don't think we will need those anymore. Not when we have 254 uh, potions of extra healing. I mean, I, I, what if I could probably sell 100 of them and it'd still be enough. Okay, so every level, is that correct? What did she get? She got a mage level out of that. Do you have any, yes. any abilities? No. Um, a level 9 spell, that's very useful. Ah, uh, yeah, take this one. Dragon's Breath. What's that here? Time Stop, is that Time Stop? No, Improved Alacrity, okay. Except, and she got one hit points and one hit point and three law points, and she actually has now f freedom and um, dragon's breath. It's the only thing you get. Looks like it. Okay, and um, yeah, we don't need really need that. Up I'm just buying it because it might be upgradable. I don't know. Um, five percent magic resistance, fifty percent resistance to cold, twenty percent resistance to fire. I think you would rather use that. Hmm. Too bad that nobody can use that. I mean, you could use it, but you don't need it. You're immediately and you have that file tooth. But then again, you don't really need that. If you could have the axe. But it's both plus four, so it doesn't really make a difference. You could use it, is that correct? Yes. You could use it as a means of... Um, of ranged 
attack, uh, but then you had to drop that. Okay. Yeah, the fire resistance is gone, but the immunity to backstab, I think, is worth it. So you don't really need the bow anymore. Because if you have to fight ranged, you can use the axe now. All that stuff goes in here. Great, right? Consider it I hope done. this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Okay. Who are you? Just a smuggler. Hi, friend. So, my friend, I've got work to do yet. Okay. What's that? This device appears to explain the method that the smugglers use to move goods in and out of the cave. They are lowered into a subterranean pool, which likely connects to some passage. How the smugglers navigate all this is unknown. Oh wait, 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 wait. Well, could I could I loot that or would that annoy somebody? Wrong button. Gotcha. Apparently no traps? Oh there are traps, okay. Anything locked? Okay. I will do my best. Money. What's that? Protection from fire, okay. We have 230,000 now. That's probably enough to buy the last spells. Okay. So we I will call it a video now. The path that has been taken so far. And continue the in the next one. Upheld. So thank you very much for watching. And no, fuck it. And see you soon. Bye.